Hey everybody, this is Jack Kern. I'm a uh, black and white landscape photographer. I hope you're all uh, safe and doing very well. Um, today I'm going to take a look at some images that are a little bit different than what I normally do. Today I'm going to look at some images that are a bit more high key. You know, I'm, I'm fairly well known for my dramatic black and white and dark and moody and mountains and anyway. Um, today I just decided I'm going to take a look at something completely different and, and sometimes I find this very challenging even though it's, um, they sometimes can be simple, they're still hard to, to bring to life, at least for me. So I'm going to take you through some techniques in Adobe Lightroom um, where we're really looking at how are we fine tuning images that have, you know, very little dramatic light but we need to be in that very open ethereal kind of place and and manage the contrast and clarity and and dehaze or and how we're working those kind of tools um, to create a little bit different um, mood for the image and you know sometimes I find myself out in rainstorms or fog or snowstorms and I, and I just absolutely love going out in those kinds of weather conditions but you know, they, they look like they're simple, but sometimes they're maybe not as simple as we think. So I'm going to share a few different images here, uh, and then we'll go in and we'll do some post-processing on one of these. I'm going to hit the N key real quick to compare. I'm going to turn the lights out and the tabs. And you can see here's one on the left from Death Valley. Uh, here's one from Naples, Florida, and then here's one from, you know, very close to where I live, actually, um, in St. Louis. And so... All three are quite different. You know, one has a very dramatic black tree in the middle, and then the other one had this thunderstorm out over the Gulf of Mexico, and then I walked into a very rainy, hazy day in Death Valley. So let me turn the lights back on, put the tabs back up, and I think, you know, real quickly, I'm going to go through a couple of these, and I'll show you a couple different techniques. So um, let me show you the raw file for the um, Naples, Florida thunderstorm. And I'll go into the develop module real quick. You can see it's pretty well stacked up in the middle in the histogram. If you look and I just hover over these, I don't see any you know real areas where, except for right here, where the white is really pretty blown out. But if you drop it down, you can see there's still some detail in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go down and real quickly just remove chromatic aberration and camera profile. You can see it took care of a little bit of the vignette. Um, I'm just going to open this up just a little, little, even though, so just temper that vignette down just a little and move the midpoint uh, around this. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to do a quick conversion to black and white. And you can already see that it's pretty soft and kind of ethereal, but I'm not getting that luminosity out of the middle, out of that cloud. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use, there's some darkness at the bottom of these clouds. So let's go ahead and take a look at the exposure. And I'm going to open the exposure up quite a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the shadows down and the blacks down because I want to see the range of light. And there's a lightning bolt in there. Anyway, so you can kind of see how this is transforming down here. I'm not a, a big fan of this big, dark, moody, um, soft water down here. So we'll probably work with that a little bit too. So I'm just exploring the image real quick. I'm going to go back. I'm just going to kind of push these into a an area. Now I'm going to take it down and I'm going to take the highlights up and the whites up because what I want to do here is see the contrast. You can see there's some glow in there. There's some glow here. There's some separation between the clouds. I might even go up here in the highlights and push that even farther to see where I'm starting to blow this out. Now I can see the separation here. These kind of nice white glows in here and that's a little bit of what I'm trying to get. So when I'm there and I see it in real life I'm trying to bring that luminosity back out. Uh, let me just do this. I'm going to reset everything. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to click that. I'll fix the vignette later. Um, no real, I mean, I'm sure there's some dirt spots in there, but I'll fix those later. A little black and white. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to add just a touch of contrast. You can see there's this little lightning bolt right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'm going to use a radio filter here on the side because I want to see if I can bring that detail back down here. Now, I've done the exposure, but I'm also going to look at the highlights and the whites there. And then I'm going to take another radio right here. And I think this radio, I'm going to drag all the way across. A little bit thinner. And I want to see what happens if I add contrast and a little clarity in there. Take my shadows down just a little. And I get a little bit of mood out of the clouds. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to go right in here. And I just want that to be, just work this. Now, the other thing that I can do here is I'm going to get rid of these for just a second. I'm going to leave that one, and I'm going to do a new one. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the range mask and go luminance. And I'm going to move my slider to the right, and watch what I do here. You can see how that is just starting to affect the shadows in the clouds, right? So I'm going to turn that off so you can see that. And then I can go down and I can just move the shadow in the cloud to get that a little darker. And then do the same thing over here. Okay, so turn on the range mask, hit luminance, slide this over pretty far. Take this down. It's just moving the bottom of the clouds now. I'm going to go up here. Take one here. I'm going to use the luminance mask. And I'm going to slide it to the right. And then I'm just going to work the highlights in the middle there. So you can kind of see what's going on there. And I'm going to take one over here and I'm actually going to add clarity to that. And take that exposure down just a little. I'm going to do one more big one here across the whole thing. And I want to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to do the range mask, luminance. I'm going to slide the white down and I'm going to slide the middle up so I'm moving the midtones a little bit more and open all those up really nicely. I like some of the little striations that happen from the shadows on the clouds that are going on here. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dehaze and I'm going to soften the water a little. I'm going to just pull this a little farther, move it back into place. If I'm going to show you the mask here real quick, it looks like this. You can see how the, the areas over here are not being as affected as the gray in the middle now. So I can manipulate that a little bit more or less, move it over so it'll start affecting the white or not. But the range mask helps a lot when you want to manage the luminosity. So let me just turn that off real quick. And you can see we have this nice kind of glow. It might be a little too bright overall. I'm going to take it down a little. We want some tone in there. And then last, I'm going to take a grad filter down here. I'm going to extend it a little bit. I'm going to come down here. And what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to keep that uh, luminous mask on, but right now I want to just add some contrast up here. I want my highlights to stay high. I want my shadows to come down so I get a little bit of this over in here. I want to see what a little clarity. I'm not sure I like the clarity. Texture is just going to add a lot of noise to it. I'm going to close this real quick and I'm going to go in and look at the overall. So 
Let me go down and fix a little bit of that vignette. Okay. There's redaction. I hit that vignette a little, just, just to get rid of some of those edges, just a little. I may bring that back down with a, a radial filter here in a second to just do the overall. I'm going to hit invert, reverse that, double click effect, make sure I'm reset. Bring the whole thing down a little. I know, it's kind of counterintuitive. I'm going to crop it just a little. Okay, now let's go back up real quick and let's look at the overall contrast. Look at our highlights a little bit. And then I'm still not thinking this is dark enough down in here. So I'm going to go through here, hit that range mass, luminance. I'm going to move away from the highlights and I'm going to take this down. Make it a little thinner. Just want to kind of get some of that water. It's probably a little too much. Now I'm going to take a brush and we're going to go into the clouds here. I'm going to add a little clarity, a little contrast, um, maybe the highlights. And then I'm just going to try and paint in here. Now I could pull out a little bit of my um, Wacom tablet and do this painting, but you know, I'm just going to paint in here a little bit and see what happens if I. Ah, that isn't working. Let's just go in and move the brush a little, get my mask to come on, luminance. I'm going to move it over to the highlight. And I just want to paint into these highlights here. They're a little flat and a little muddy. Okay. Roll it a little bigger, a little softer. There's that glow that we saw a little bit before. Smooth that out a little. Still think the water. Let me go back, put the range mass on, luminance, move it back to the mid-tones just a little. Double click effect and restart. Okay, so we're starting to get there. But you can see how working with a, a high key image is kind of challenging to really get in there and get the subtle details. So I'm going to hit the end key and we're going to take a look at the one I did before and the one I just did is on the right. I do kind of like this soft glow, but then again, there's something to be said for a little bit more texture down in here. Um, I do like these mountains a little better. Um, this reflection, I actually like where I am here. So, you know, again, this is where I will do virtual copies and I'll do two or three and then I'll go back and I'll match up each one and figure out what was the best element of one or the other. So I, I do kind of like this glow over here versus what's going on here. Um, but overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a simple process to get, bring your vision to life, but, but it, again, there's small details that you really need to pay attention to. Anyway, I hope that helped. Um, you know, I really enjoy doing these, these shorter videos for you guys as opposed to my longer um, Mastery of Light series where it might be three, four hours of work and we go step by step and use all the different tools. So I uh, hope these little quick hits help and uh, you have a great day. All right. Thanks.